we use this strategy of uh, 10 days of intelligence, like making map Which is you position. could join the drones. Yeah, and we have a group of eight people. I was a guy who flying, we have a commander and a guy who actually my security team, they was in the bushes just watching so I wouldn't be killed. <laughs> While you're controlling the drone. Yeah, 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 so you're flying the drone, yeah, yeah. they're sort of backing yeah, yeah, you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. And you do that for 10 days. Yeah, every and day. Then, and then you map out. Yep, exactly. After that, we have this map. This is Vlad Demchenko's map of Novi Bikov, the town we're standing in. He made it using his drone. You can see he circled target after target after target in red. Here's what happens after that. We invite a serious uh, drone, like those ones that can stay in air for two hours. Mm -hmm. And I was sent it with them. So I was pointing them like where they okay. need to fly. And they okay. uh, have a connection with artillery. And we was like working on each target. Like, okay. so we uh, put our priorities <coughs> and step by step. And you just like, <laughs> next. <laughs> and it's yeah. fun, kind of fun to be honest. Yes. Yes. We're standing at the site of Vlad's first big strike. How many of them were there? I think around 20, 30 people. 20 or 30? Yeah, and uh, at least 10 of them uh, was killed here. The drones are helping kill so many Russians that in another village, shown here by a CNN drone, a man told me Russian soldiers occupying his house were given bonuses of cigarette cartons to shoot down Ukrainian drones. We are using Chinese drones, and Chinese give mm -hmm. Russians uh, programs that can uh, search us, uh, spot it out. So uh, Russians see from where we're starting and where we're landing. And once it happened to us that it was yeah. attacked like right away. I just, uh, the drone was landing, and the next, like in 30 seconds, the landmine was just like, it was really close, like 30 meters away. Cool. It was a moment, Vlad says, much like this one. They see the whole road from where right. I uh, fly uh, up, where I landing, everything. Right. They see everything. They see my phone. A Chinese company makes both the DJI drone that Vlad uses and a software program, Aeroscope, that tracks much of what the drone does. That's what Vlad says the Russians are using to combat Ukraine's drone warfare. How were you able to do the drone then for all those 10 days and get all the information now, without them knowing? Uh, now we have a whole strategy. So you're coming first, you don't turn the drone on, like you're walking away from your group, like a couple hundred meters, you're leaving the drone, you turn it on, you're coming back uh, away from the drone, oh. you're starting your pull, and you're flying really, really low, like 10 meters. And only uh, next to their position, you're going up, making, making a search, like making the pictures, making a video and coming back like in very, very uh, different directions. So they can't track you in a straight way. By now, I personally know uh, three guys being killed mm. just because uh, nobody know how to work with that before. And this is the price we pay for uh, have this tactic now. Vlad says there is an American drone the Russians can't track. He wants a lot more of those. Maybe Imagine like it. you're having your infantry mm -hmm. and there is like a live guy, so they need to go into the village. Imagine how easier if there is a drone in front of them and telling mm -hmm. them, hey guys, there is a tank, there is a vehicle, there is a group of enemy on the left. They just prepared. Now in each platoon, we have a guy with a drone. Wow. It's funny to say, but uh, most of these drone guys is just uh, young nerds who used to play video games. Right, and now, and they... it's now the skill is Yeah, it's, it's cool applicable. skill. And you know what, mm -hmm. uh, mostly like, uh, of course, if, if they are just youngest uh, guy, like 18 years old, nobody will send them like uh, to liberate the villages, but they can do their job sitting from like mm -hmm. five kilometers away, just like, mm, it's kind yeah. of fun for them. <laughs> <laughs> Now Deputy Commander Demchenko has moved up the ranks fast. Proof taking risk and being nimble is rewarded here. The commander asked like, did you know how to fly drone? I said, yes, definitely, of course. And when they give me actual drone, I was like, just take it uh, on a place we was living and try it like, You okay. were just on your own practicing. Yeah, I, never, I don't say anybody that I did it only once in my life, but you just, I don't know. You learned on the yeah, fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I, I think it's like the main thing is pretty easy. The main thing in this is just to stay calm. Mm -hmm.